black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, we got some cut up chicken breast here in a bowl. We're gonna hit that baby with a bunch of oil here, a little bit. And then I found this at the store, chicken shawarma spices. Shout out the international aisle for providing me this. I'm really excited to try it. And we're just gonna coat this chicken up real good. Nice glove, mix her in. Once it's like that, we're gonna let it marinate for a little while and then we're gonna cook it off and build up these sandwiches, wraps, gyros, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know, but they're gonna be delicious. Okay, so I gotta make a sauce for these bad boys. Gonna throw together a nice fresh sauce. This is coming straight from my mind. It's not really any certain thing, recipe idea. It's just what I feel like eating right now. Right now. So sour cream, cut with some mayo. Next up, a nice little hit of garlic, fresh garlic we got, squirt of lemon. We got some nice diced cucumber. We got some chives going in. We got onion powder. We got some dill going in. Mini whisk, stir it up. Incorporate, incorporate, incorporate. And that's gonna be the sauce for these sort of gyro shawarma hybrid that we're making here today, but I can tell you that it's going to be delicious, 100%. Y'all know me, a little bit of veg prep for the aesthetics when we finish off at the end. So we're gonna make some nice little tiny matchstick cucumber. So we're gonna stand it up like this, slice it down into that, move some of these away, grab the good things that we like, that stack right there, and then we go matchstick this way. And then we go tight little squares this way. And then we have a nice beautiful little cubes of cuke to sprinkle on at the end. All right, next veg up, we got these little multicolored little guy tomatoes, sprinkles, kind of cute, <laughs> not gonna lie. Pop those guys open though, and I'm just going to half these and get them prepped into this bowl. I figured the multiple colors would be kind of cool, I guess, for the aesthetic at the end when we throw her all together. So I'm just gonna half a bunch of these. Super little guys. Okay, there we go, just like that. All right, gonna need some lettuce too. Quick freestyle lettuce prep, new thing I'm on lately. Just chop her off into a bowl in chunks. So we shave it. Lettuce Ninja. Random chop, Lettuce Ninja. Last but not least, definitely going to need some nice slice, dice, fine red onion. So I'm just gonna do one, two slices, and then just go like this. We just slowly break them down like this. I didn't want to cut into a whole, deep into a whole onion, so we do it like this. Still comes out perfect. And there they are, onions. All right, quickly air up a couple fries to shove in these bad boys, not too many. Just a little, a little additive for into the sandos. Okay, gotta chuck this chicken now into the air fryer. Gonna go in here, spread it out a little bit. Air fryer chicken has been my jam lately. Pop it in, 400, 20 minutes, and we're golden. All right, chicken's done. Have a look at it here real quick, pour it out into a bowl. I got some of the juices from cooking it, gonna incorporate back in. I'm just gonna let this come down to like almost room temp and then we're gonna build. While the chickie is cooling, a low, low heat, a little pan on dry, and we're coming in with these nice pitas. I'm just gonna kind of warm and toast each one. All right, let's build these. First things first, our sauce. Hefty amounts everywhere, across the board. We love it saucy around here. Next up, some lettuce, latouche. Some pieces of this chicken. 
couple french fries gotta have a couple french fries in these maybe a little more sauce here for some stickiness our cucumber bits some red onion pieces and our miniature tomatoes yellow and red incorporated into the design aesthetic lifestyles of the rich and the famous or the poor and broke youtuber <laughs> could be that too and lastly a crumble of feta cheese gotta be done if we're going a little greek style on this a little 360 degree of the sandwich of the day come through for one gotta fold these up and get to eating all right yo what up what's good with y'all welcome to today's vidski as you guys saw it come together there i don't know really it's more i would say it's more like a like a gyro 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 however you want to say it with a little shawarma influence just with the seasoning so really excited for these very very hungry it's a nice hot fresh sunny day out and i feel like this food goes with that so i'm just like excited to eat i love these i love these pita things they're so so good but before we do anything more we must of course pour we got the sledder super sender and uh just because you know kind of a lighter food lighter day i thought i'd bless the palate with a nice diet ginger ginger ale so crack that go for a nice little pour ski but yeah this has been heavy on my crave for a while i've just been thinking about this type of food and uh, i was like i gotta throw it together today not a subscriber sponsored request however i just want to say to anybody watching this video who has submitted a request i've talked to some of you uh, behind the scenes just about uh i'm kind of rolling them out basically here's the thing is i have the requests finished they're pre-uploaded and i'm rolling them out slowly but surely while i sort of behind the scenes can have more days to focus my energies on other things in my life that I need to focus. So the requests are done. They will for sure be released. If there's anybody else out there getting like anxiety of like, oh, is he not gonna honor my request? I would never do that. Uh, I'm an honest person. And if you send me money in a request, it will get done. So they are finished. It's just that I'm slowly rolling them out over months, maybe a month or two, so that I can kind of work on myself a little bit. But anyways, Let's eat this, because that's what we came for today. And I've got them skewered off, all crazy with two toothpicks, just so they would stand up, but we'll take those out off to the side. One quick inspection for you. We got the fries, we got the chicken, and all the fixings, and we're ready ready for these absolutely fresh fry the little restaurant style ones mm. Very saucy. That's one of the worst things when you order a sandwich like this or a gyro or whatever and they don't put enough tzatziki. It bothers me.
Mm. I never tried this shawarma seasoning before. I was just floating through the aisle, caught my eye. And I was like, that would be good. Mm. In a format like this. When it's messy, that's when you know it's good. In my city, we only have like one decent Greek spot that I know of. And it's so expensive to make it at home is. as good so much cheaper ginger ale so crispy right now that's a welcome change i haven't had oh a nice cold ginger ale in quite some time very good is anybody just such a sucker i'm such a sucker for these pitas the, these style of pitas they're like kind of puffy they're not like the dry ones they're so good and this <laughs> hilariously for some reason reminds me of when they killed the bear when anthony hopkins kills the bear on the movie the edge shanks him with the uh with the uh like sh sharpened wooden stick in the dam or whatever i don't know why my mind went there but it did If you've never seen the movie The Edge, good ass flick. 90s gem. I'm a, such a sucker for like psychological thrillers like that. And Anthony Hopkins is such a G actor. Same with Alec Baldwin. Great actor. They don't make them like they used to, I tell you that. Mm. Man. That sauce that I made turned out awesome. I feel like it was a, a little random. A couple little deviations from a standardized one, but everything that's in it works wonders.
brings back memories of the uh, in Toronto every summer there was like food festivals certain areas of the city Italian little Italy, little Italy Port, Portugal and then there'd be the Greek side which was the Danforth and you just go to them with your friends kind of buzzed up walk around and grab one of these cut it in half split it go to a next spot try out something different everybody's just there vibing having fun drinking eating music's playing just such vibes that shit was so fun that like that's life man that's living life that's so fun and like <laughs> I can't believe what our new life is like it's so like that that doesn't even exist anymore right now so painful also i don't live there anymore so also <laughs> kind of like it's like fuck that's not actually in my life anymore but i'm happy i got to experience those times i reminisce on those times Nothing like a beautiful summer evening, sun's falling, city is glowing golden, and you're just, you're buzz, you're with people, and everybody's just in a happy mood, like everybody's just enjoying food and beverage and music. Then the night fully falls. Things get a little, start to get a little more rowdy. The cigarettes come out. <laughs> Man, I miss that shit so hard. One day. One day I'll have a life like that back. Cause that shit is, I don't know, to me that's like, just, that's, that's living, that's having fun in my book. I could feel through my memory right there just talking about that, like the genuine happiness that I felt in those moments. And now... It's a little bit of genuine sadness <laughs> that I don't have that anymore. But, okay. Delicious, banging. Follow along. It's a simple meal. It's not, this does not rocket science. Just follow the, the things that I did and have yourself some banging sandos. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.